Alright guys, this is part two of my reality checks video. Now, what you'll notice about this video firstly is that the quality has improved, I'm using a different camera. But secondly, if you actually go back to the first video and look at my hair, it's insane how much it's grown just in, since March, right, just, uh, what was that, six months ago? I don't know, a few months ago. But now look. Absolutely insane. Anyway. Right, so reality checks. In the first video I mentioned about how it's important to vary your reality checks and I mentioned about how they work, how they're gonna in how they're gonna enter your dreams and actually give you a lucid dream. In this video I want to talk a bit more advanced, okay? I want to talk a bit more about your mindfulness when you do reality tests. And I just want to reiterate how they are gonna work and how, you know, some tips that you can use that will help them show up in your dreams. Okay, because one of the most common problems with reality checks is people know how to do them. People know that you're supposed to do these things, like for example the finger palm push, every day, but they just can't seem to get them to show up in their dreams. And there's a few reasons for that. There are really several reasons why that might happen. The most common ones I'm going to talk about in this video. There's some things you can do to get your reality checks. I'm going to, I'm going to take this one by one. So firstly, I'm going to talk about how to get them to show up in your dreams. Secondly, I'm going to talk about some tips to get them to be more effective. And then thirdly, I'm going to give you the best tip of all regarding when you should do them. So if, you, if you're if you watching this video and you have no idea who I am, you have no idea about reality checks, please go back and watch the first video, which I'll link to in the description below. It will be called something like, I think this one's called, yeah, How to Use Reality Checks to Lucid Dream Naturally. I might change that title to like part one or something, but watch the first video. It's going to be in the description. Then come back here. So now, now that you've watched that, you're back here, we're going to talk about how to get them to show up in your dreams. This is, so, this is such a common problem. It's unbelievable how many people write to me about this stuff. So when, a, when you do a reality check, okay, what you're really doing is you're priming your subconscious mind to be able to do something in a dream. You're telling yourself, when I see this thing, whether it's a dream sign or a trigger or something, I will ask myself if I'm dreaming. That's how you should be doing it, at least. And there's, you know, there's different ways of doing it. So you're, you're priming your subconscious mind to be able to become lucid in the future by asking yourself if you're dreaming while you're dreaming. That's how they're supposed to work, right? So the reason that they might not be showing up in your dreams is if whenever you do them in waking life, you aren't mindful at all and you're just doing them to add to your score, right, so to speak. So you're just doing it so that you can reach that number of 20 reality checks a day you're doing it wrong. And to, to do it right, all you need to do is just to spend a lot more time on the reality check when you actually do it. So don't just, so for example, this is a reality check that most people would do. They'd get a reminder, whether it's, you know, on their, on their phone or um, as a trigger, they'd get a reminder to do a reality check and they'd look around and think, oh, I need to do a reality check now. And so they'll do their favourite their favorite test. You know, mine happens to be the finger palm push. So I'd do this and I'd, I'd look at my finger I'd try and push it through my hand and I'd think, am I dreaming? I'd look around and think, is anything strange here? And that's it, that's it, I'm done. Now that that you just saw there is 10 times better than what most people do. And that wasn't even the best one. That was just a basic reality check. Most people just literally do this, done. They don't even take the time to really focus on the sensation of pushing their finger against their palm of really expecting the finger to go through. They don't focus on what's around them, how they feel, what sounds they can hear, whether, they, whether it might be a dream. They assume that it's not. And so what happens, the only thing that you achieve when you do that, when you do reality checks that way, you just end up doing a reality check in your dream and it not making you lucid. Or even better, you don't see the reality check at all and you just have a normal dream. That is what happens with 9 out of 10 potential lucid dreamers. They don't understand how to do reality checks. So the way you do it right is this, okay? To get the reality check to show up in your dream and actually make you lucid, you need to take more time doing it. So take at least 30 seconds, probably more like 45 to a minute, at least 30 seconds time from start to finish where you, so you get your reminder, you know, usually it's on your phone, or it could be a wristband, or it could, it could be any, any sort of reminder, it could be a trigger, and you think, okay, it's time to do a reality check now. So you stop what you're doing, you put everything down, you drop all of your thoughts about anything else, and you focus on only one thing, and that is to try and determine if you're in a dream. 
that's all you focus on. You don't think about what people are saying near you, you don't think about how you look to other people. You just focus on determining for, for a fact whether this is a dream or not. And the way you do that is you look around, you look at the details, you really analyse the details of the world around you. Things that you never normally would notice, like for example the way that this softbox light is angled just slightly off being, being in a straight line. It's angled just, just slightly off centre. Is it normally like that? If I look away does it come back to that angle or does it change? And so take in the details of the world around you, really focus on the details. At the same time, do your chosen reality check. Now mine happens to be the finger palm, as I've said, but you could also do the one where you pinch your nose, you try and breathe, you could look at some, you could look at some text, look away and then look back at it, and if it's changed that will be your reality check. You know, there's loads of different things you could do. Um, but when you do them, you, it's important that you expect whatever the out outcome is, you expect it to happen. Even if you think you know you're awake and you know this isn't a dream, you need to pretend for a second, or for 30 seconds I should say, you need to pretend that you don't know. You need to really convince yourself that this could be a dream, and that you could be asleep right now and this could be all fake. Because it's that convincing that will actually show up in your dreams, it's that thought process you need to really make yourself strongly believe that this could be a dream and that you could be asleep in a dream. And the way you do that is by looking at the details and thinking, is this real? Like looking around and really questioning things. You know, the question like, if I use my imagination, will that glass on the, on the table, will it move? And really believe that you can make it move. And, and so while you're doing these things, while you're thinking those thoughts, do the reality check, try and push your finger through your palm, Expect that your finger will go through your palm, and if it does, you know for a fact you're dreaming. That's, your, that's how the reality check has worked and, how, and it will give you a lucid dream. If it doesn't, don't end the reality check there, okay? So say if you push your finger through your palm and it doesn't go through, look at it in detail. Look at the, look at the tiny lines on your palm in detail and really think, really believe that this could be a dream. And ask yourself, am I fooling myself here? Is my brain playing tricks on me? Is this definitely my hand? And, and then try again, try the reality check again. Don't just do it once, right? You need to do it one, two or three times and really believe that your finger will go through. And pay attention to how you feel as well. Really pay attention to how your, f your hand feels when you press it against your finger. Does it feel like it normally does or is something slightly different? If anything is different, Okay, if anything is different at all, you might be in a dream. And that's, that's how you're going to catch yourself out, that's how you're going to win the game, right? Because if you focus on the tiny details, and you happen to catch one of these details out in a dream, you're lucid, and you've, you've won, right? The reality check has worked, it's shown up, and it's made you lucid. But if you aren't mindful, and if you don't focus on the details, and if you just go through it, going through the motions, just to say you've done a reality check and you've done 20 a day, nothing will happen and you'll end up wasting your time and not only that but you'll come back and you'll comment on things like reddit you'll be you'll say things like lucid dreaming doesn't work reality checks don't work it's all fake another potential lucid dreamer hits the dust so really pay attention to the details and think of it like a game right you're trying to discover whether you're in a game and how to escape this room okay and you do that by looking at the details really focusing on what you want to happen in this case you want your finger to go through your palm so you can become lucid and just believe in yourself, right? So anyway, that is how you get your reality checks to show up in your dreams. That's how you get them to work and actually give you a lucid dream. So I touched on it slightly before in my last video, but I didn't really cover the details of it. So there's that. That is a mindful reality check, okay? Combine that with doing it 10 times a day, but you wanna do it at random times. Now, the best times to do it are whenever you see something strange or whenever you experience something new, Okay, let's say you're walking through town and there's a, there's a giant mascot dressed up as a horse uh, to promote some shop. Now obviously you don't see that every day, right? You don't see a horse walking down the street every day. So as soon as you see that thing, identify it as something unusual and think, and think to yourself, that's unusual, that doesn't happen every day, am I dreaming? And really, and again, go back to the mindfulness, do exactly what I just mentioned. Really question whether you're in a reality or whether you're in a dream. So, so that's one of the ways. Do Every time you see something strange, you do a reality test. Another way is to set an alarm on your phone or find an app or some sort of smart device that can give you 
a random reminder, something that will happen at a random time. You don't know when it's going to happen. It could be every hour, it could be in the next 58 minutes, or it could be in the next four minutes. You don't know when the alarm is going to go off. When it goes off, do a reality check straight away, without questioning it, without delaying it. So that's that. That's how you get the reality checks to show up in your dreams. Now, I did promise you at the start of this video, I'll tell you the best time to do them. And I have a feeling I mentioned it already in my first video, but just in case I didn't, or in case you're new to this, or in case you haven't seen my first video, the best time to do a reality check is first thing in the morning, as soon as you wake up. The reason why is because lots of people experience what are called false awakenings. This is when you dream about waking up and you go through your morning routine, you get ready for work, and then you're snapped back to being in the bed and you wake up again. Now, that could happen three times, four times, even up to seven times or more. And you wouldn't be able to tell when you're awake and when you're, you're dreaming. It can be quite scary. It's known as being stuck in a false awakening loop. Okay, it, it can be a quite a scary experience. But you can avoid all of that by just doing a reality check as, as soon as you wake up. Because then every time you wake up in the future, you will know that you're either awake or dreaming based on the outcome of your reality test. That means that every time in the future when you would have had a false awakening, instead, you'll have a lucid dream. That is one of the reasons. Another reason is that it's a great time to do it because you're just starting to wake up, you're just about to go into your day, and it sets your mindset up right, right from the start. It sets your mindset to one of critical thinking, to one of thinking rationally and thinking, am I dreaming? Is this, is this all fake? Is this real? So that's it guys, that is my part two reality checks video. I might make a part three depending on if you like this one. I've got a lot more to talk about but again I don't want to bore you and people's attention span tends to be much less than the 10 minutes or whatever this video is, this video is going to be. So leave a comment, leave a like and I'll see you next time.